Hi, y'all. Happy Monday, October 7th. It's crazy out here. It's day six of the challenge. If you guys are new, my name was Paul. I'm a affiliate flipper. I sell things in Pinellas County, Florida. And I have a challenge in October. I have to make my third $12,000 to, to buy for a car. There's my, that's my thing. <laughs> my introduction. What are you laughing at? This is Nikki. This is Sky. Sky! What are you doing? People are people watching you. <laughs> We're out here. Uh, we just packed all of the one night orders, but we, I packed all the one night orders. Nikki just stood there and did nothing. Uh, right now, uh, I'm uh, catching you guys up. I gotta record here first because uh, we're packing the eBay stuff. So I'm gonna tell you guys what's sold on eBay. And then later on, I'm probably gonna come back in, give you guys an update on what's been happening here and what my plans are of getting out and all of that fun or not so fun stuff. So um, the good news with the challenge is that we had some eBay sales overnight. It's had some Facebook sales overnight. I sold, made a sale for $120 on Facebook, which is like really, really good. I sold all the golf clips. All the golf clips sold for 120 on Facebook. Now usually I do Facebook local. This person was about two hours away from me in Florida and paid me $20 extra to ship them to him. So we take that. 120 plus shipping. Again, I paid $5 for all those grips plus a bunch of golf heads <coughs> that I still can't find. So I don't know where they are. Besides that, on eBay, we had three sales. This Simon camera sold for $40. This Sony camcorder uh, sold for $50. And this brother um, handheld printer sold for $25. So that's all the sales right there. I'm gonna have to calculate and tell you guys the fees and stuff and what I made, but uh, we'll put that towards the end. I didn't have any whatnot shows yet today because we were just busy packing everything from this weekend. So like we have stuff everywhere in the house, uh, stuff that gotta get packed. Like look at these. Look at all that. Look at all that, all that over here. All this over here. All that, all that, all that. That was just all packed today. So you would be very, very busy working. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna pack all these things up now and then I'm gonna come back later when Nikki's not here, give you guys an update about my situation and what I'm planning to do with this hurricane because all the plans that I want to do probably won't be achieved. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll talk later. Hi right, y'all, Nikki is gone, her and Cam left. We said our goodbyes, because I'm not gonna see them until the hurricane is over. All the stuff is packed out, ready to go. Again, this is gonna be my last time getting mail picked up until the hurricane is over. I'm not selling anything else on, um, on whatnot. Um, if I sell anything on eBay, uh, by tomorrow I'll just drive it to the post office. But uh, I'm not selling anything on whatnot. And now I can actually be in the car and tell you guys the plan on what's happening here. And we can go live hunting for gas together. And you guys can see the situation that we have here in Florida. So, uh, first, the bad news um, all the flights that I want to take are gone. I spent probably two hours yesterday, guys, searching everywhere for flights. Tampa, Fort Myers, Orlando, Gainesville, nothing. The only thing I found was Wednesday morning. That's what I told you was that one. The Wednesday morning one, 11 a.m. flight. It's a very expensive flight. I was still going to pay it because I wanted to get out of here. Very expensive flight. The only issue with it is that because of the storm coming, they don't provide insurance. It's a $500 flight and they didn't provide insurance for it, which means that if it got canceled through a storm, well, tough luck, you're out of the money. And I don't have $500 just to throw around a gamble right now. I, I, I don't, I, I don't have that. So I don't think I'm doing that. So what are my options now? I am evacuating regardless. I'm not staying here for this thing, even though it's saying it might go south more and, and it, it uh, might avoid 
tamper with the worst of it and all that stuff. I'm still, I still don't want to risk it. I don't, I don't want to be here for it. I know there's all these people that are, were born in Florida that they're like, oh, it's you now whatever. We live through this thing. It's, it, is, it is what it is, you know. I, I don't want to be here for it. So my goal is to go north and to get out. I don't know if the possibility of going to the wedding is still on, but at least I want to go as far in the north as, as Gainesville or something, um, or Jacksonville, and, and rough it out there, rough it out and get a hotel there for a day or two, and then come back and see what happens. I'm still trying to find flights from, uh, I was thinking maybe Orlando on Friday, because my, my flight from Tampa on Friday is gone, is canceled. Um, but I figured if Orlando doesn't get hit that bad, they might fly the next day. That's very unlikely. So I was thinking maybe like Jacksonville or something. But Jacksonville's supposed to get hit hard too, so like it's like, do I, do I drive seven hours to get in the flight? Or do I just go and drive 20 hours and just go home? <laughs> And that, that is on the table too. Uh, it's on the table of, uh, of, of driving 24 hours and making it home. And I'm debating about doing that. Again, there's still so many, so many options, so many ideas going through my head on, on what is the best uh, option. And if I do that, I think I'm going to leave tomorrow night. Leave tomorrow night. And, um, and yeah. This is scary. <laughs> this is scary. It is scary when you, you, you see um, fear in people's eyes. <laughs> Uh, my neighborhood is always full of happy-go-lucky people. Um, today, yesterday, and Saturday, I was canvassing the area, seeing who needs help getting their stuff prepared. Because there's a lot of people that live here that are retired, that are older, that can't, um, like, can't put up um, plywood and stuff on their windows to get it all, all prepared for. So I was just like canvassing the area, seeing who needs some help. And these people that I'm used to walking around my house with smiles and all this, who have lived here their whole lives, people that are 60, 70 years old, have born and raised in Florida, have fear. <laughs> that the fear in their eyes, like this is the scariest thing that has ever happened here. And me, lucky me, been here for eight months. Okay, this is my initiation. <laughs> it's my initiation to Florida. So yeah, I'm getting out. That's the plan. We're getting out. We're leaving. Uh, just the question is when, and the question is where. When and where is the question? But I want to keep you guys on the camera here to see if we get lucky, because there is zero gas anywhere. All the gas stations have either mile long lines hour long waits or they're out of gas period i have half a tank i'm trying to get some the good news about my new car is that it uses it you can use e85 gas on it so um i i can fill it with e85 and still be good <laughs> so that's good news for me <laughs> Okay, so the first place on the map was a lie. Uh, I said it had E85 on there, but it didn't. It was just a regular gas station. Go to the second place now on the map, that is five miles away. Um, see if that has E85. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this is not looking good, folks. Not looking good. I've already tried six different gas stations that are supposed to have E85. They are either wrong on the map, they don't have 85, 
the one I just collect from had the 85, but entire gas station is closed. Everything is like barricaded, um, caution signs everywhere. Uh, the gas station itself is closed, there's nobody in there. Across the street, there's a bunch of lines for, for gas. And I'm like, oh, is that gas there? I wait like five minutes to get into a pump and there's nothing. And they're like, yep, we just found out like 10 minutes ago, the lady told me. So I think it's gonna be a lot better once I get farther inland from here, but on half a tank, I can't really, I, I need to find something <laughs> to, to get at least half a tank so I, I can uh, get a full tank when I'm, when I'm evacuating here tomorrow. But right now there's no gas, and right now there's traffic jams out the butt of people leaving. So I don't know what to do. I, I think my plan is get gas right now, find gas right now, go home, look at some flights from Jacksonville to Philly, and try to find one tomorrow, if not Wednesday morning, because I think on Wednesday morning we can still be safe to... Uh, to fly since it's gonna hit Tampa Wednesday afternoon. That's five hours away, so I think Wednesday morning will still be good for Philly to fly. Orlando is like I said, it's questionable. Philly I think it should be good. And try to fly out uh, Wednesday or tomorrow from uh, from Jacksonville. That's the plan. We're just looking for gas. <laughs> We're still looking for gas. Okay y'all, so I made up my mind. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning I am doing my morning show on whatnot, um, doing everything that needs to be done with that. If I sell anything, I think I'm just gonna offer um, Starbucks and um, buy Sky treats and stuff in the buy it now to make my shipping easier afterwards if I do sell something. Sell, uh, ship everything that I sell, get in a car and I'm driving. We're driving home. Uh, there's just too much things to miss that I don't wanna miss. And this storm is gonna try its best to make me miss them, and I won't. <laughs> so we're gonna drive home uh, Tuesday, probably leave around 12 p.m., uh, go north, uh, take alternate routes to avoid traffics until it's busy, until it's less busy, and do that. That's the plan. Everything that I that I ship, uh, everything that I sell until then, I'll take with me, because my lady is not coming tomorrow, so I'll take a bin with me of stuff and I just drop it off in the post office along the way. You'll see later today. I gotta ship like four or five more packages. I'm having a really good sales day on eBay. The, 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 uh, the whatchamacallit, the steam I'm building up, you know you guys, you list daily on eBay, it, it rewards you. <laughs> it takes a while to reward you, but it rewards you and today, you guys already saw me pack like, like five things in the morning. And since then, I sold, I had a really big sale on Poshmark. And then I already sold three things on eBay today. So like, and they're like uh, 30, 20, and 90. So they're like really good sales too. <laughs> so like uh, the, the steam I was building up was working. It, it, my whole system that I, that I had here, the, the situation I had, the goal I had the, for the 12,000 was working. It was working really, really well until, um, hurricane other plans so anyways right now i'm sweating because i've been cleaning out my storage room in here this is my storage room by the way in the house this is my guest room my storage room my dog's looking all cute at me right now and you know if you can see her down there um but i uh, pretty much it was all on the floors everywhere um i raised it as much as i could so all the elevation i have in here is there as you guys see i have a lot of stuff to sell there's this this goes back to two levels and these are bins full of stuff for whatnot stuff for ebay stuff or everything else and then we go here and as you see the bed is also filled just with boxes upon boxes upon boxes upon boxes of goodies and that's just this room right here i have a storage room that has i think 12 or 14 bins in there now plus a bags and stuff of plush and I have that room right there that I didn't go into yet. Uh, my um, my living and dining room that has 
um, inventory everywhere. I'm gonna go clean up right now and put up as well on my table, on the couch, on my bed, everywhere else. But yeah, gotta be as prepared as possible. I already cleaned that outside. Got that all uh, situated. Um, stuff that needs to be inside is inside. Uh, I didn't do the front yard yet. I'm gonna do that, put everything in the garage since you've been in the garage. The only thing I'm gonna do tomorrow, I'm gonna end, is do my morning show, give you guys an update, maybe be live for an hour max. Um, and it all depends on how the show goes. If it goes really well, we'll be live a little longer. Pack, ship all that stuff, and then head on the road. Um, my laptop that I used to edit on is um, not one to charge. So I think maybe when I'm in Philly, I will be vlogging on my iPhone. So I can just edit that right through iMovie, get it out for you guys. But uh, um, I'm not sure how, but I do want to vlog the, the drive up. I do want to vlog some of the stuff that's happening in Philly. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that uh, how that works. Sky wants to say hi to you guys. Want to say hi, Sky? So anyways, that's the, so that first project is done. And the second project is getting everything in here uh, rised up and protected as well. And getting ready for the storm in here. Alrighty, so we still have a little bit left to do, but I'm kind of happy with the progress. We got a bunch of stuff up on here. Got a bunch of stuff up on here. Started packing some of the stuff that sold. Uh, I'm probably going to record the results of the sold, but we got quite a bit of packages to still pack from so the sold today. I'm going to pack it all out tonight and get as much done tonight as possible. Tomorrow, again, I said all we're doing is having the whatnot show. Uh, streaming that for like an hour uh, hopefully by that time my trash gets picked up I can put my trash back uh, if not I'll get all my neighbors to see if they can do it um, when I leave and then we're heading north um, very looking for alternate routes today uh, to so if the roads are packed tomorrow then I can um, try to avoid them it might be the same length of driving but at least i'm driving the whole time instead of just staying in the traffic because right now we're looking at the weather channel like i've been watching just weather channel the whole time and there's standstill everywhere tampa to Orlando to ocala is just standstill and i don't want to be in that tomorrow so i'm gonna try to go around it but um yeah it's 10 o'clock i'm gonna probably just go grab everything that's sold right now all the stuff that i that i sell um, and the goal is put on the code. All the stuff that I sold today and everything is not counting towards any goal. There's no uh, 12K in October goal right now. Right now it's survival and get out safe and come back and worry about it later. So I, I think as far as goals are concerned, I'll talk to you about this real quick because you guys brought up a pretty good idea. Uh, to do a 31 day goal and just have the all 31 days that are here and have that be part of it so whatever day was yesterday and it was day six was a day 31 whenever i come back and i'm settled that's gonna become day seven and from there on we'll move on through 31 days where i'm here uh well hopefully again that's if i come back and everything is normal it's gonna be day seven you can continue to, to plug along try to come back and do cleanup and do damage control and do all of that. I didn't want to think about that right now. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put you guys down, grab everything that's sold, and then I'll bring you guys back and share that with you. All right, so here's what sold on eBay. Uh, this main deluxe Fender, you guys have enlisted this a couple days ago uh, for my challenge, sold for 20 bucks. This Game Boy Advance Zelda book sold for 25 bucks. So let's for my challenge as well. This multi-scan system scanner thing. Sold for ninety dollars. So you sold me list that as well for my challenge. So all those three things, one hundred thirty-five dollars in sales right there, uh, all work for the challenge. And then this is a really big sale on Poshmark. I got two hundred and seventy-four dollars for these two books on Posh. These are my last two first edition Nancy Drews. End of an era. I don't have any more left. These are my first, the last two Nancy Drew first editions. So for two seventy four as part of a bundle deal, and uh, I got two hundred and fifty after shipping and fees. So those have been some nice little tollies to add to my day today. You know, 
and you've got 250 and 90 and 340 plus that, rest, that stuff but again we're not doing that right now the challenge is going to continue when we come back from that and hopefully everything is here all right sky say goodbye to the folks sky 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 you gotta say goodbye you gotta say goodbye to the folks She's been very aggressive today too. Like, like I told you guys yesterday, she knows kind of something's not something's not right, and she's been uh, she's been really um, by my side the whole time because she could sense that I'm very, very, very stressed out. But she can sense that, and she's been like trying her best to calm me down. But yeah, it's gonna be a f it's gonna be a for us, right? It's gonna be it for us. We'll see you guys in the morning.